<laughs> you believe as, Christ, as a Christian, yeah. you all have the same God. We have the same God. We same believe in Yahweh, who's the Father, the, the Son, Son, the Holy Lord. Spirit. Okay. Yeah. So, since you believe you all have the same God, right. and Jesus has two natures, yes? Right, human nature and divine nature, yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so, what I'm asking is, uh, right. if all Christians have the same God, right. And that God is Yahweh. According to you, Yahweh is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Right. right? Yeah. Okay. So, and you said you all have the same God, including Jesus. Yep. Jesus, fully God. Yep. Does Jesus, the fully man, yep. have the same God as you? Well, first of all, we a guy called Nestorius. Nestorius came up with an ideology about dividing the Godhead. He believed there's two persons in Jesus Christ. But we do not believe in two persons of Jesus Christ. We believe Jesus Christ was one person, but had two... He was one person, but consisted of two natures, a divine nature and a human nature. And that divine nature of Jesus Christ was always connected to the Father, right? So when Jesus was in the, in the heavens with the Father before the beginning of creation, he was always connected to the Father, all right? So, Jesus Christ, when he came on earth, he came as a bond servant. And because Jesus is eternally a eternally the son of the Father, when he came down on earth, he was communicating and praying to the Father. Because he was connected to the Father and the Holy Spirit, how he says the Father's in him and he is in the Father. Likewise, the Holy Spirit. He does not need to pray to himself. Right? But we need to pray to the Son, likewise the Holy Spirit and the Father, all three of these persons within the Trinity we need to communicate to. Because we cannot get to the Son, to the, uh, we cannot get to the Father without the Son. Likewise, we cannot get to the Son without the Holy Spirit. Which is why we need to have fellowship with the Holy Spirit, with the Son and with the Father. But Jesus Christ was different. Okay? Jesus Christ was different because he was really connected to the Father. So when it was when he was here on earth, he told yeah. When he was here, I told you, I tell you. So when Jesus was here on earth, he did not need to make himself his God, right? He had to make the Father his God because he is the eternal Son of the Father. There you go. What was my question? You said who is the God of the Man Jesus Christ? Yes. Right. What's your answer? The, the the God of the Man Jesus Christ. So. He, so when we say God, we mean in submission. Jesus was in submission to the Father through the power of the Holy Spirit. But we also believe in a monarchy. Do you know what the monarchy is? So who is the God of Jesus? Do you know what the monarchy is? I, I, I'm responding with the answer. The Do you know what monarchy Trinitarianism is? So monarchy Trinitarianism uh, is basically where the Father is a say. The Father has a say -ty. The Father eternally regenerates the Son and gives divinity to the Son. Likewise, the Holy Spirit. So in that context, yes, the God of Jesus Christ is the Father. Okay, if the God of Jesus is the Father, mm -hmm. according to you before, you said your God is God Yahweh. Right. Yahweh is the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And here we have, and you said you all have the same God. Right. Which means all of you must have the same God, including Jesus the man. So, but why Jesus, the man is God, is not the Son, is not the Holy Spirit, but the God of Jesus is only the Father. Like I said, right. we do not divide, we do not divide these two persons. We believe in three hypostases, and the Son was already connected to the Father and the Holy Spirit. So when Jesus came on earth, he was just communicating and praying to the Father, right? There's nothing wrong with that because he was already connected to the Father within, in the Godhead before the beginning of creation. So we need to pray to the Son and the Holy Spirit and the Father is because we cannot get to each one without each person of the Trinity. So we cannot get to the Father without, uh, we cannot get to the Father without the Son. We cannot get to the Son without the Holy Spirit, which is why as Trinitarianism, we need to pray to each person of the Trinity. Now we believe in the doxodoxy formula where we pray to the Father through the Son by the power of the Holy Spirit. How Jesus says worship the Father in spirit and truth. And the Spirit is the Holy Spirit and who was the truth? Is Jesus Christ. Okay. 
Um, now you just contradicted your own words. Before you told me, you all have the same God. Yep. And that God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy yep. Spirit. But here we have Jesus, the man. Yep. The man is God. Yes. It's not the Son, it's not the Holy Spirit. Right. So, in here, now you have different God than Jesus, the man. It was different with Jesus. I'll tell you why. It's because yeah, Jesus. So that means you have the same God as Jesus. The so, man. so Jesus. Yeah, you have same God Jesus, as Jesus the was man. yes, because the Father, the Father, we we believe in Who's the Father. So well, our God is the Trinitarian God. It's yeah, Yahweh. God? So Yahweh is, Yahweh the, is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And who is the God? And of Jesus, Jesus is Yahweh. No, I tell you why. Who is the God? Of the Jesus, God of the Jesus. Okay. No. So when we say God, we mean in submission. The God of Jesus, right? Who was he in submission to? Now Jesus was in submission to the Father, through Himself, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Like us, us Christians, we pray to the Father, through the Son, in the Spirit, okay? And now, as I said to you, um, the God of Jesus is the Father, is right? And your God because, because we believe in monarchy Trinitarianism. Are they all where the same God? The Father is the eternal, He has a say, He's, He has a say T. The Father eternally regenerates His Son. And the Father likewise regenerates the, uh, the Holy Spirit, okay? And because the Father eternally is connected to the Son, the Son does not need to pray to Himself because He's already connected to the Father. But we need to pray to Jesus because we cannot get to Jesus, we cannot get to the Father without Jesus Christ. Likewise, we need to pray to the Holy, uh, pray to the Holy Spirit because we cannot get to Jesus without, without the Holy Spirit. So us Christians, we pray to the Father through the Son in the name of Jesus. But also, if you worship the Father, or if you worship the Son, or the Holy Spirit as, as Christian, it does not matter because they are one in nature and the message flows within their Godhead. Okay. If by saying they are one God in nature, yeah. why the God of Jesus, the man, is not the Son, the divine nature? Since the okay. Father, the divine nature of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, all we are don't, one God. Okay. Wait, wait, let me finish. If these three are one God, mm -hmm. one God, that means we cannot distinguish these three. Yeah. Which means the God of Jesus, the, the, the God of Jesus, the man, should also be the Son, the divine nature, and the Holy Spirit. No, because but why these two, since they are God, yeah. but they are not the God of Jesus, because the man. We do not do, so as I said to you, a guy if called God, there's a big be council. The God of Jesus there's well. a big council around the fourth century where a guy called Nest, um, I think his name was Nestori Nestoriism, where this idea came up where Jesus consisted of two persons. We do not believe the ideology. We believe Jesus Christ was one person, and this one person consisted of two natures. Two and natures. this one person, Jesus, was already connected to the Father. So because he was connected to the Father, he did not need to worship himself. We we see him. In submission to the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit led him to the wilderness and he was in submission to the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit led him to the wilderness but as I said to you us Christians the reason why us Christians pray to the Son through the uh, to the Father through the Son by the power of the Holy Spirit is because we need each person of the Godhead we cannot have the Father without the Son we cannot be connected to the Son without the Holy Spirit which is why us Christians need to communicate to the Father through the Son by the power of the Holy Spirit. So now what I'm asking, since Jesus is God, right? but Jesus is God, mm -hmm. and you believe only God can be worshipped, yes? Right. If Jesus is God and only God can be worshipped, right. did Jesus worship himself? I mean, so when Jesus, Jesus okay. is God. So okay, so you're, Jesus is God. Okay, so Jesus is God, yes. Did but you when, worship, but, okay, okay, who do you worship? So okay, but it's, as I said, it's different because Jesus had an eternal relationship with the Father and the Holy Spirit before the who beginning can of only creation. Be I'll, I'll tell you, before the beginning of creation. So when so when Jesus Christ came down as a bond servant, he was worshiping the person of the Him Father Jesus. through the Holy Spirit. Is the Father who the Son he, I, I, God. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Through, so so okay, so when Jesus came on earth as a bond servant. He was worshiping the Father through the power of the Holy through the power of the Holy Spirit, because he already had that relationship with the Father. He's not going to worship himself because that will look stupid. That will make him look like an arrogant person. But he told us to worship himself. He told us to worship. So Jesus told us to worship him. In John 14 verse 14, we see Jesus saying, "If you ask me anything in my name, I would do it." We see the three Magi's. They were worshiping Jesus. 
We see in the book of Revelation, the angels, they are chanting, Holy, 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 God Almighty, the Lamb on the throne. We see the Lamb, Jesus is on the, on the throne. And the, the angels in the book of Revelation, they are worshipping Jesus. And Thomas, many, many people, many disciples, many people at the time of Jesus were worshipping him. He did not reject the single one. And what did Jesus say to Satan? You should worship the Lord your God only. Okay, he says you should worship the Lord your God only. And Jesus Christ did not reject any of that worship from people. Why is it? I've answered your question. You, you said you got one question. No. So now you said Jesus is God. Yeah, right. Right. And he worship God. He worships God. Right. But he did not worship himself because that looks stupid. So technically now it's like you're saying Jesus is stupid. Why? Because he Why is, is he God yeah. and he worships God. But he's, he did not worship himself. Okay. But he worshiped God. And he's God. So that makes him stupid. No, because, because the Father and the Jesus, the divine Jesus, the divine nature and the Holy Spirit all are one God. But if Jesus not told us to worship gods, him, worship him two gods, doesn't that tell you even a more fact? Three gods or two gods? We believe in one God, one being. Three. With three hypostases, three, three substances. Yes. Three. Uh, so, okay. Since these three are one God, yes. you cannot distinguish. So then Jesus should worship also himself. Because as I said God, to you, as I said to you. The Holy Spirit, he should wa also worship the Holy Spirit because only God can be worshipped. Okay, so as Christians, we look at worship in a different view. Okay? So because the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, they had an eternal relationship. When the Son came down, because he was connected to the Father and the Holy Spirit, right? He did not need to worship him. Is Jesus son of God? Listen, listen. He did not need to worship himself. But we need to worship the Son. The reason why we need to worship the Son and pray to him is because we cannot get to the Father without the Son. But with Jesus, it was different because he was already one with the Father and the Holy Spirit. So he did not need to worship himself. Did you worship he, the Holy Spirit? He told us to worship. He told us. Did you worship the Holy Spirit? So listen, he told us to worship him in John 14, verse 14. What did he say? And he said, if he asked me anything in my name, I would do it. When the three what Magi's, when okay. the three, listen, when the three Magi's were worshiping Jesus, he did not reject it. When Thomas came up to him and said, my Lord, my God, why didn't he reject it? When the angels, when, when the angels, um, when the Apostle John, when he bowed down in front of the angels, the angels said, do not worship me, worship only God. But Jesus Christ, many instances in the Bible where he accepted worship. Why was that? Because was he a madman? No, because he was fully God and fully man. And he became, came here to be a substitute and came here to be worshipped. Did Jesus worship the Holy Spirit? He was in submission to the uh, Holy Did he Spirit. Worship the Holy Spirit. Yes so, no? okay. Yes so, no? as I said, we believe in the doxy. No, no. Did Jesus worship the so Holy Spirit? So, we believe in, yes no? as Christians, we believe in the doxy loxy formula. The, it's called the doxy lox, um, the doxy loxy for, uh, formula, something like that. Where we worship the Father through the Son in the power, by the power of the Holy Spirit. No, I'm not and asking about that. We you. see Jesus, Did Jesus was in submission the Holy to the Holy Spirit. Did he because, worship the Holy Spirit? Listen, so when the Holy Spirit led him to the wilderness, what did Jesus do? He was in submission to the Holy Spirit, right? Did Jesus and worship the Holy Spirit? He was Spirit? praying to the Father. What do you say? Worship the Father in spirit and truth. Did Jesus Who is the Spirit mentioned here? It is the Holy Spirit. No, so we can see Holy Jesus Spirit. was worshiping the Father through Himself by the power of the Holy Spirit. That's a Trinitarian formula. Did Jesus worship the Holy Spirit. Yes or no? That's that counts as worship because early, the early, so, no, yes, the early Christians. No, no, I'm just I'll tell you. The, the early, is, is the yes, yes. The, yes, because the so early, the, the early Christians. Show me the, from the Bible where Jesus so worshipped the Holy Spirit. The early Christians in the Book of Corinthians were worshiping in, and having canonia fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Forget about the they got this example because Jesus Christ was doing the same thing. And when Jesus Christ said, "Worship the show Father me Jesus in the spirit, Holy spirit and truth," no, show me in spirit from and the Bible, truth. Show me from the Bible okay. where Jesus worshipped the Holy Spirit. So when Jesus says worship in spirit and truth, what does that mean? What does that mean? I want you to show me. That doesn't mean worship the Holy Spirit. Well, if he, he doesn't talk about the Holy Spirit. If he is telling us to I do it, to and me, he came here to represent mankind, it clearly, the Holy clearly shows he would have done it. Jesus, Jesus says okay. Jesus would worship in spirit and truth. Jesus Meaning, the Holy Spirit. yes, because to worship, to worship in spirit and truth, you have to be connected to the Holy Spirit to the Son and to the Father. So when, when Jesus says worship in spirit and truth, meaning he must have done it. So he, when he said worship in spirit and truth, 
who would have worshipped the Father by connecting oh, to the Holy verse? Spirit. Shall we read that verse? Right, okay. That verse, Jesus is not telling me to worship the Holy Spirit. Uh, okay, can I ask you a question? I, I'll quote the verse, okay. John chapter 4, verse 22 to 23. A Muslim means I mean, one who submits to Allah. If Jesus is submitting himself to the Holy Spirit, it means he is worshipping him as well. Let me, let me finish. If we go to, back to John chapter 4, verse 22 to 23, okay. Jesus said, There will be a time will come. Yeah. The true worshippers worship. worship the Father. The Spirit the and Father. truth. It's spirit and truth. The Father in spirit and, and truth. And truth. Yeah. He never said the true worshippers will worship the Father yes. and the Spirit and the Son. Okay. See the difference? English okay. heaven. So they will worship the Father. Right. He did not mention the Son. He did not mention the Holy Spirit. He didn't mention himself. So they will worship the Father. In John 14. Jesus the Father. So in oh wait, is Jesus the Father? Wait, wait. Jesus said that in John 14, verse 14, Jesus said, If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. He said, Honor the Son as you honor the Father. You cannot honor your mother and God at the same time. Right? Honor and when Jesus honor him as you honor the Father, that includes worship. Okay? And when Jesus says, All sins can be forgiven, but blasphemy against the Holy Spirit cannot be forgiven. But blasphemy against Jesus. Blasphemy against Holy Spirit cannot be begin because the Holy Spirit has a greater role in salvation. The Holy Spirit is the so one who is more great than the Holy Spirit. The Holy Jesus. Spirit is the one who draws us to no, Christ. Who is the greater? And Christ is the one who brings us to the Father. Okay? Who is the so greater? By, who is greater? by accepting the, the Father, by accepting the Son, by accepting the Holy Spirit, you are in submission to them. And it means you are worshipping them. The way our Muslims believe those who submit to Allah means you are worshipping them. The same way when Jesus was in submission to the Holy Spirit and us Christians are in time, submission yeah? to the Holy Spirit, it means we are worshipping them as well. Uh, you can speak two minutes. Yeah, two, no, I'm, I'm asking you a question. But, no, but, but, what, what do you want? Okay. I'm still waiting you because Jesus in John chapter 4 verse 22 right. to 23 right. said the true worshippers will worship the Father. Right. He did not mention the Son. He did not mention. He did the Holy later Spirit. on. He did later on. According to this verse, anyone who worships the Son or the Holy Spirit is a false worshiper. No, because we believe because it. He we said the true worshippers will worship the Father. We believe in progressive okay. revelations. What's the, way, the evidence that Jesus was worshipped? Listen, listen. Why? Okay, why okay. do you think Jesus? Okay, was let me let me ask. So we believe in progressive no, revelations. So Jesus said things time by time. He's not going to say everything all at one go because that would be too much for people. So he said it slowly by slowly at different points of time. So he did say, yes, worship the Father in spirit and truth. Then later on, Jesus said, if you ask me anything in my name in John 14 verse 14, I will do it. Can you say that about, about Muhammad? Can you can Muhammad say that by himself? If you ask, if you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. That will be shit and that will be associating him partners with Allah. Shall I answer that one? Yeah. That one, first of all, is false and fabricated. Do you know why? John 14 verse 14. Yes, do you know why? How is that fabricated? That's because right. Matthew, since you said it is a revelation, progression of revelation, progressive revelation. Matthew, John chapter 14 yeah. is way before yes. Matthew right. chapter 20. I understand. So if we go to Matthew <coughs> chapter 20, verse 21 to 23, a lady came to Jesus and said, I want this two of my sons to sit ah, I love with this one. you. I love this one. one of them to sit yep. at the right side. Yep, yep. Of, uh, at the right hand of at the right side. I love this one, right. At, the, at your right side. Yep. And the other one at your left side. Yep. And what Jesus responded, he said, This is not me to grant, but only the Father can do this. So if you can, Jesus can give you anything you pray in his name, you ask in his name, why Jesus, the weak man, right. who cannot grant the lady's two sons, one of them to sit at the right hand and the other one at the left side, mm -hmm. if Jesus is all powerful. Right. And if you ask him anything in his name, he yes. can give it to you. Yep. So as you said, the progression of revelation, so John chapter 14 is way before Matthew chapter 20. Right. So how can you reconcile because, because when Jesus himself, even in judgment, do you know what is Jesus is talking about? Okay, you, you speak, you speak, you speak a bit Let me explain. Jesus is talking about in judgment day that Jesus himself is weak 
unless okay, I'll answer that, please, please. give so basic, in so basic, about okay. this life. So with the progressive revelation, yes, we have we have pro progressive revelations. And just because Matthew may have included some parts, John may have included some parts, it does not mean they contradict one another. It's because these authors wrote, wrote it to different audiences and they wrote it um, portraying a different message. For example, the book of John. The book of John portrays Jesus' divinity. The uh, synoptic go uh, gospels portray Jesus as, like, as a servant or as a messenger or as, as a messiah. So these gospels authors portray Jesus in a different way to different audiences. Now notice how Siraj talks about how Jesus has to ask the Father to give authority for the two, uh, two, judgment yeah, day. for two yeah, men to sit on the thrones. It's because, it's because, because my friend, if we Jesus, believe. If Jesus that's said, it, that's it. Okay, it's, I get it. It's because he said, ask any. If you ask anything in I my get name, it. I will give yes. it to you. It's because but the lady asked Jesus okay. to It's because to Jesus was in his humanity at that time. My friend, Jesus was in his humanity. In judgment day, he left. Okay, I'll give. I'll, I'll bring that. So at that time, Jesus was in his humanity. He left that authority behind in the heavens. We believe in a term called kenosis. Kenosis is called the self-emptying, where Christ limited himself, emptied himself into the human tissue and did not use his attributes to his ad full advantage. You know Only about? when it was rolled within the Godhead. Now he, I am. So now he is, is talk, Jesus God in heaven. I'm talk, so he is talking about the judgment day. In heaven. But Jesus he God is wrong. Because in Judgment Day, when Christ receives the authority, watch this, watch this. In the book of Revelation, in chapter 3, verse, is verses 3, that. chapter 3, verse 21. To the one who is victorious, I will give the right to sit with me on my throne, just as I was victorious, and sit, sat down with my father on his throne. So this is Jesus in his glorious body and telling John, that he will give the right do you believe this he book? will give the right do you believe to the book? people to sit on his throne with the father you know, he is running away now he has been busted he has been busted let me finish let me, let me finish that's the that's the finishing list. that's the finishing me that's it finished finished you want to listen but you got finished but do you want to listen he okay listen listen no, no, you that's that's a, you want to run? that's that's a perfect finisher. No, I'm, I finished. I will teach you revelation. It's repeated. Is revelation repeated. real or imagination? You said in the Bible. Is revelation imagination? Was Muhammad's visions in the night of Hijrah real or imagination? When Muhammad that's saw the angel Gabriel, was that real or was that imagi imagination? Pause it. Finish, Raj. You have been finished. Finished. I want finish. to finish. Finish, brother. I have to finish on that. I have to finish on that. Finish. Finish. Okay. Okay. God, God, bless God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. We love you. We love you. Another one bites the dust. Do you know why? Jesus himself, John said, Right, let's wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> that guy got this. That guy got class that. It was too funny, bro. Oh, so it was too funny. Wrap it up, wrap it I have to finish off because he said something and he said, so what Sarah said, he said that only the Father has the authority to grant those who sit on his throne. But Jesus himself said in the book of Revelations, chapter 3 verse 21, yes. that he will give the right to, uh, to those to sit on his throne with the Father. So as I beat Siraj on that fact, I had to finish it, I had to be collapsed like that. Siraj brings the same script all over again. Who was the God of Jesus Christ? I rebuted him in that fact. He could not answer any of my questions. He did not like my questions. Many people here in the park, such as Anthony Rogers, Sig, have refuted Siraj with the same script. And I have done today, by the power of the Holy Spirit, another one bites the dust. Jesus name. Yes, sir. Another one bites the dust.